Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast in a game between Triple A's Nurchio versus MYM's Cloud here on Tall Dream Altar. Cloud, or excuse me, Nurchio spawning here at the 5 o'clock location, speaking like Yoda. Good luck, fun and have. And as the Red Zerg, meanwhile, Cloud over here on the top left hand side of the map as the Teal Terran player. So this is going to be Terran versus Zerg here on Tall Dream Altar. Tall Dream Altar is a very, very large map, so excuse me. So I expect a very an, a very good amount of macro play coming in here on Tall Dream Altar. There is a very large walking distance in between all of the bases and not very much going on in the center. A lot of ramps and just a lot of um, places to maneuver. So Zerglings, um, once they establish a very strong creep highway, it does. It does work out well for them. Zerg players in general also have access to a very easy to defend third base as well. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. A very easy to defend third base as well. So that third base, as soon as it gets cleared down by Zerglings or perhaps Roaches, um, a third hatchery can be placed down, increasing the economy and also allowing a zerg player to just produce more units as well perhaps massing up mutilus and zerglings and banelings especially against a terran player now i wouldn't be surprised if cloud decided to go for an early command center here as you can already see he is now sitting at 14 over 19 so it looks like he is going to be going for an early command center in order to counteract nurchio's early hatchery now this normally doesn't work out well for um, a Terran players to go for such an early command center, but because of this particular map, its size, the large walking distances between the bases, it does work out well. I do expect barracks to be placed down over here, uh, perhaps even three barracks lined up in such a way so that Banelings are not able to bust in through there um, that easily. That is the weakest part of um, trying to do a fast expand as a Terran player. So the Terran player, as long as they're able to get a lot of units here, or a lot of buildings here, should have no real problem at all. I'm not quite sure why that um, one SCV is patrolling in between those two locations there, as a drone now makes its way out. This hatchery should be done in just a moment. We are going into a spawning pool and an extractor as well. So we are going to get quickly get three drones onto that extractor and then perhaps try to get that metabolic boost underway. A command center nearing completion, needing about 20 more seconds. Still, you see this bear, or you see that SCV finally making its way out, and now also Marines being trained. Is a second barracks going to be placed down? It should be, or is it going to start mining? It looks like it's just going to start mining instead, upgrading to an orbital command here. SCV is also being transferred over, and now this game is underway. It's going to be a little bit of time before we really see any action from any of these players as um, both players are just setting up a very strong economy. Double queens being placed down here, um, a couple of zerglings trying to fend off any aggressive marine attack, if there w would be any, but no, no aggressive marine attack, as we now see Cloud double expanding into two extractors. Um, after the four minute mark, he needs to catch up in terms of that tech, quickly shooting down a zergling there. And we'll see what he does next with his um, 300 minerals. He has a lot already stored and saved up, but I don't see any additional Raxes here, which um, kind of confuses me. Um, we'll see what he tries to do. Um, is he going to go for a, perhaps a factory? I can't imagine he'd actually go for another command center. No, going for a bunker. So it is going to be a bunker on that front door. And that means that unless there is additional bunkers as well, this is going to be a rather vulnerable. Um, bunkers only have 400 hit points. Banelings, if they splash in, they're able to get damage on both the bunker and the barracks. Bunkers only take 8 banelings to um, destroy. That is a decent amount, but once those banelings are, are done for, you can just run in with those zerglings and try to surround and swarm, which zerglings do so, so very well, um, especially with that metabolic boost now being researched. So Cloud um, opting to get that 3 racks, having that 1 bunker here, should be able to fend off any zergling aggression but he really needs to scout out at some point to figure out if his opponent is going to be going for banelings and how he is going to respond to that. You can see Nurchio, after getting 100 gas though, pulled all of his drones off of gas and now he's continuing the power drone. You can see 6-7 drones in production. So, um, 36 total drones right now and, and that is a very large number of, um, of drones. You're going to see an even larger number now, 40, perhaps 43 in just a moment down over here as these drones are all going to hatch. 
and at sitting at 45 drones nurtio sitting on a very very pretty economy we are only seven minutes into this game folks and we are already sitting at close to 1500 minerals a minute um, 1600 resources a minute that's a very large number cloud just macroing up more marines getting stim pack and and both sides just trying to see what they can do now you have to be very careful against a Zerg player. The Zerg player, I believe, and Nurtio in this particular instance, is going to come out on top. He has the stronger economy. He's going to be able to take him down these destructible rocks in just a moment and then transfer into a new hatchery in just mere moments as well. And and he all he really needs is Zerglings with a creep highway in order to fend off any of those Marines. Using early scanner sweeps from Terran, it really hurts their economy early on. We are getting siege tanks and siege tech though as a bunch of zerglings now wandering around on that far side perhaps going to test what exactly is on this front door as an overlord also going to suicide itself in you can see that the banelings nest already underway most likely expecting a lot of marine tank so marine tank against zergling baneling and it really comes down to micro and positioning to see who really comes out on top in that particular situation so the siege tanks are now in front able to get any zerglings and banelings down before and they get up that ramp as long as there's not too many of them fi filing in right behind i am still waiting for these destructible rocks to go down hardened materials have a base three armor zerglings only deal two damage per attack so it does take quite a bit of time and now building another hatchery a little bit out of the way so that's a, a curious move as well getting this hatchery down and if nurtio is able to transfer drones into this location he's going to have a very strong economy indeed Zergling is now continuing to wander around still. Missile turret is up. And now Cloud just still sitting in his place, base, playing very, very defensively. And we'll see if the turtling Terran will be able to come out on top. We are getting the Spire down now as well. And I'm thinking that Nurtio is simply going to be able to out macro and Cloud in mere moments. You can see the bunker has been canceled. More units are now finally um, funneling out. And Cloud realizing that he cannot just sit inside the main base and and just macro up um, as Zerg has a very very easy type of macro Nurtio does have a lot of creep tumors now down and also sees this army coming out across the center Z Marines and siege tanks on the move one medevac in the air both Zerglings able to spot this incoming attack and now even more creep tumors are going to be laid down the Zerglings do move very very quickly and I do not see any bail oh, the banelings are currently in production so the banelings are going to try to uh, do some surrounding and harassing in just a moment as well you can see the units are high off over here and this is going to become a very bad flank but now cloud moving into this location here going to siege up his tanks and start blasting away at some of these units here the drones now unable to mine and now the banelings gonna perhaps just try to run towards that front door perhaps try to get some of those units in transition what is going to be happening those banelings are moving very very slowly though as this hatchery is now getting sniped down uh, Marines also being elevator dropped onto that high ground. Zerglings now coming in. Banelings coming in from multiple sides. And it looks like the Zerglings are going to be able to finish off this attack here. There are Marines still up on that high ground. And the Zerglings still trying to finish off the rest of that group. It looks as though the drones are now trying to come back into mine once again. That is not going to work out very well. Cloud going to lose this siege tank here. as Even though a couple of those drones were taken down. And now this is just a game of hopscotch. Jumping in and out of that medevac. A queen now joining in on the fight. And now those medevacs are going to be forced to retreat. More units are now in reinforcement as we are now getting this hatchery over here up and running. We are also getting some drones being transferred from the main base over into this location. These destructible rocks have yet to be destroyed, but Cloud continuing to push out with Marine Tank and Medevac support, and this may work out well for him, as Nurtio is um, quickly going to lose this queen here as another siege tank tries to siege up onto that low ground, blasting away at Nurtio's expansion. And you can see that those drones are just getting destroyed. Elevator dropping one more time. Nurtio doesn't have the movement speed upgrade, and uh, but does have that creep advantage killing off some of those marines but not all of them the what the marines now quickly coming back in to try to deal more damage once more this hatchery going to get sniped the drones are going to get transferred to this hatchery location here so it is going to be two base play versus two base play and i we are getting some mutilists but there is not that many at all marines now cleaning up the rest of those units 
in transition, trying to make sure that there are no additional reinforcements. And now the Banelings are on the move once again. Where are those Mutalists? Not that many Mutalists to be found anywhere across the map. Units are getting caught in open field though. And those Zerglings looking to just um, kill more of those Marines. Marines not even trying to fight back any longer. Uh, quickly getting destroyed um, uh, once again and now the units are in full retreat this hatchery over here mining at a full saturation of a, a boatload of drones um, more than enough for saturation there as the zerglings now once again wandering back the marines now trying to run away able to get up in time but leaving a siege tank behind and down it goes so Nurcio um, properly was not able to defend his natural expansion, but by establishing a very early hidden expansion here at the 3 o'clock, um, is now still very much in this game. Perhaps, oh wow, a little bit of a misplay by Nurcio. Nurcio had Zerglings here and he didn't take down the hatchery in time. So you can see this hatchery is a little bit off center, out of position. Perhaps he's gonna, um, is he actually gonna grow up to try to be an extractor here? He should really go over there first. As the Zerglings and Mutalists now come into this location here, we are getting a queen and now the Mutalists are gonna take down that medevac and that is gonna be a very, very sad day for Cloud. Cloud losing his medevac there and now losing a couple of his Marines as well as the queen was able to get in on a couple slash jobs there and taking down those Marines. So. The queens, the queen does have level one armor upgrades. The zerglings are one one upgraded as well. The SCVs have level one weapons and level one armor upgrades as well. Now going into level two, and Cloud, who thought he had such a large advantage, now realizes that his advantage is not going to hold out for very long. Both sides, army wise, about the same. Twenty three hundred versus two thousand production wise. Thors are being added though, so Nurcio is um, going to have a very difficult time, especially once these um, upgrades are completed. Nurcio, in order to get back into this game, desperately needs to get um, Infestors. Infestors with Fungal Growth, a very, very par powerful option at trying to um, slow down Marines. And now, oh, the Missile Turrets quickly destroying or damaging multiple, multiple Mutalists. And now the Marines are just going to make their way over and Cloud. Um, after getting double missile turrets here and establishing this expansion is in a very very safe situation knowing that zerglings have a difficult time to try to take down a planetary fortress and it takes a lot of banelings in order to run in and sacrifice to destroy a planetary fortress as well we are going to have excuse me we, uh, we do have a couple siege tanks on the ready ready to blast away anything that's going to come up this ramp here cloud perhaps is waiting for that 2-2 upgrades but the 2-2 upgrades um, may not complete in time. No, they should be able to complete in time before the um, movement speed upgrade on those banelings. We need to get more and more, um, excuse me, more and more creep tumors out across the map. And it looks like we may be getting a swarm of mutilists along the backside. There are missile turrets here, however. And the mutilists may just get very, very lucky and scout out this medevac. Oh, this medevac com almost completely full, losing 400 minerals, 500 resources in just a split moment there and that was a terrible loss losing 500 res um, a total of 600 resources in that engagement and now some of those barracks are going to be um, just shot down as well and uh, marines now getting um, destroyed uh, as that chain damages and um, taking down multiple of those units are they going to be able to deal damage over here it doesn't look like it as there is one missile turret already in position and now the zerglings trying to swarm marines using those stim packs trying to chase unable to do so and using a scanner sweep that didn't reveal any creep tumors that was a, a, a mistake in the scanner sweep and now the marines um, obviously after using that stim pack low on health or low on energy on those medevacs as they continue to push the zergians now trying to swarm in trying to get a surround here the, there is a thor in the group as well both sides battling it out marines are going to be able to finish up the rest of those zergians and the mutilists being forced to pull back even further the marines now going after those overlords we still have zergians over here that could try to do, perhaps do a little bit of a flank but those marines are full are, are upgraded 2-2 will be 3-3 in just a second banelings now once again going to be hatched is it going to be in time is the key question zergians not trying to come over banelings over here mutilus in the air trying to finish off the rest of this the marines are running away the banelings trying to melt away at those marines but unable to do so and nurcio i believe knows that that is going to be gg he cannot stop this attacking force those marines with so and, and those yeah, with those Marines just doing a great job, a great job there, finishing it up. And um, GG, if you want, I don't quite know what that means. 
Um, you can win. You can take the win if you want it. Um, but yeah, I think that one of the main reasons why Cloud's army was that just that effective was a sheer amount of energy on those medevacs. Those medevacs were sitting there for quite some time and were able to mass up a large amount of energy. And by being able to sit on such a large amount of energy, the Marines were able to use stim very, very just like overdose themselves on stim and with that stim pack they were able to move away from those banelings allow those siege tanks to weaken those armies and slowly just win that war of attrition i had thought that nurcio with his um, hidden expansion over here was would have been able to macro up a large enough army he did ha he did have the infestation pit but he never got infestors in early enough and that's always a problem infestors and deal 9 damage a second, uh, 36 damage against Marines, and I believe a 40, uh, 48 damage against Siege Tanks and Marauders. A significant amount when you hit a tightly packed group of units and depleting a, depleting a lot of energy from those medevacs. But ultimately, we did not see that. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay and game 1 in the series between Cloud and Nurcio. Thanks for watching.